सबसे बड़ा रीजन है जहां पे सबसे ज्यादा हो रहा है वो ये दिख रहा है मुझे उसके बाद 13% उसके बाद 5% मतलब सबसे ज्यादा डैमेज जो है वो यूरोप में हुआ है फॉलोड बाय ओशेनिया ओशियनिया एंड नॉर्थ अमेरिका और इसमें इसके कॉजेस की बात की गई तो अगर मैं यहां पे देखता हूं यूरोप से शुरू करते हुए तो सबसे बड़ा नंबर यहां दिख रहा है मुझे 9.8% एंड देन दिस इज 7.7% अगर इसके ऊपर बात करता हूं तो यहां पे ये सबसे बड़ा कॉज है और अगर इसकी बात करता हूं तो ये सबसे बड़ा कॉज यहां पर दिख रहा है जो नंबर्स मैंने सबसे बड़े नंबर्स को हाईलाइट कर लिया है क्योंकि क्वेश्चन बोलता है समराइज द इंफॉर्मेशन बाय सिलेक्टिंग एंड रिकॉर्डिंग ओनली द मेन फीचर्स मेन फीचर्स मतलब जो कि बड़ा कंट्रीब्यूटर है मुझे उसे हाईलाइट करना है इसलिए मैंने ये कंट्रीब्यूटर को यहां पे सर्कल कर दिया सो नाउ आई कैन राइट अबाउट द पाई चार्ट फर्स्ट एंड व्हेन आई टॉक अबाउट देन आई कैन टॉक अबाउट द टेबल व्हेन आई टॉक अबाउट पाई चार्ट आई विल अगेन स्पीक अबाउट द मेजर कॉजेस फर्स्ट and then i'll talk about the minor cost and cause or even i, I can even ignore it but by talking about the table i'll start with europe that it is the <coughs> main area which is affected and then i'll talk about oceania and north america so let's get straight to the top task that is gate 6 so i'm given almost 3 minutes to analyze which means in almost 20 minutes i should write the graph i should write about the graph so first thing i have to do is i have to write an introduction so when i write the introduction i can use the same language as in the this the pie chart below shows the main reasons why agricultural land becomes less productive the table will also they have given two sentences so i can combine these two using a little bit of while type structure so i can say while the pie chart illustrate reasons for world wide land degradation the table be 
below shows how the three regions of the world got affected by got affected. Okay, so this is also fine for a short introduction. Now I can start with the pie chart, right? And I can talk about these two. The two major reasons of land degradation were deforestation, overgrazing, and deforestation. And I'll put numbers in brackets. The two major contributors to worldwide, or I can say global land damage. Global damage were overgrazing thirty five percent, overgrazing thirty five percent, and deforestation. Deforest. I can say the two major as shown in the pie chart. As shown in the pie chart, the two major contributors to world global damage were overgrazing, which contributed 35 percent. So I've written it in bracket and deforestation, 30 percent. Right, the two major contributors. Right, I'm using another connector further. Uh, what is the other cause as I can see deforestation uh, over cultivation over grazing deforestation 30 percent and further uh, over cultivation over cultivation caused 28 percent of overall damage. Uh, over the uh, if I'm maintaining certain structure where I'm writing everything in brackets, I'll maintain this up further. The same structure where I'm writing numbers in brackets. Over cultivation caused over cultivation 28% was the third uh, cause in the order. Third cause, or I can say third contributor also, but let that be cause. Okay, now I can go to the table directly. So if I go to the table, next, the table shows that Europe was the region that sustained maximum land degradation. And I'll write numbers in brackets as I maintained that structure saying 20%. And for Europe itself, I'll talk about the two major contributors in Europe were deforestation and over cultivation. So I'm not putting their numbers. The two major Causes of land degradation. The two major contributors, or I can combine it, where the two major causes were deforestation and over cultivation. Deforestation and over cultivation. Right, so I've talked about Europe. This uh, Oceania, 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 thirteen percent was the was second in order. So I don't have to second in order. Second in order simply tells that it was the second most damaged region. So I can simply say second in order, where overgrazing was the where overgrazing was the major 
major cause right and then i can talk about north america lastly north america and i'll write this 5% was yeah reported now these are some good words which you can use reported the least land damage the major the principal the the biggest contributor there the biggest cause where the biggest cause was i can use the same structure where the biggest cause was so what was the cause in north america was uh, over cultivation over cultivation now i can write one overall statement overall europe was the uh, europe was the most affected region most affected region where the major cause was major cause was uh, deforestation right so this becomes my graph i can uh, how much time did i take to write it is 8:14 i was supposed to finish by by 8:23 so in case your uh, typing speed is good you can finish it this way i just have an idea of how many words i have written i am supposed to write minimum 150 words so on an average 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 5 and 5 and half so 5 into 25 is 125 125 12 probably i am a little short so i'll add one or two lines in there the two major contributors to global uh, this further over cultivation 28 was the third cause in the order i can write a little bit uh, more in the conclusion overall europe was the most affected region where the major cause was deforestation in i can add those details in the year 2003 they have mentioned it right in the year now in 1990s so i can add some details about the contributors so overall um overgrazing and deforestation overgrazing and deforestation were shown as the two major contributors to the worldwide land degradation further europe was the most affected region where the major cause was where the uh, biggest cause major cause Uh, was deforestation in 1990 i can use some adjectives also next the table shows europe was the region that sustained maximum land degradation uh not all reporters uh, okay now let me check it so i I've, i've written a few words i know this uh while the pie, while the pie chart illustrate not illustrate it should be illustrates reasons for worldwide land degradation the table below shows how the three regions of the world got affected as uh, as got affected in 1990s in 1990 uh, okay as shown in the pie chart the two major contributors to global damage were overgrazing 35% uh, 
and for deforestation 30 percent so this is about global thing further over cultivation 48 percent was the third cause in the order next the table shows that Europe was the region that sustained maximum land degradation where the two major causes were deforestation and over cultivation Oceania 13 percent was further I can write this Oceania 30 percent I just was was second in the order where overgrazing was the major cause lastly North America North and America should be written like this and then I should do this 5% reported the least land damage where the biggest cause was over cultivation and I should put a dash like this overall overgrazing and deforestation were shown it should not be where it should be were shown as the two major contributors to the worldwide land degradation further Europe was the most affected region where the major cause was deforestation in 1990s I can put this a little earlier in 1990s Europe was the most affected region in 1990s we usually call it as 90s where the major cause was deforestation now it looks good and I can go to the next question so this is how you are supposed to plan your writing your essay, I mean writing your graph. Now I will use another 40 minutes to draft my essay and finish the writing task. So what does the essay say? Let me see it quickly. Some people think that a parent should teach children how to be good members of society. Others however believe that school is the place to learn this. Discuss both views and then give your opinion about this. We have already written an essay another tutorial so I'm not going to write the complete essay but I'll write the essay below in uh, the comments or oh, let me take another essay for that matter something which you have not written yeah 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 nowadays the way people interact with each other has changed because of technology okay so because of technology people are interacting in different ways I'll just mark it a little bit to make sure I understand it nowadays many people uh, nowadays the way people interact with each other has changed because of technology in what ways has technology affected the type of relationships people make is this a positive or a negative development Okay, so a few key, key things to note as far as this question is concerned. It is, uh, has become, a, has this become a positive or a negative development? Which means I have to say whether it is positive or negative. I have to take one side and defend it. So this is like, I have to talk about one side only. Has this become a positive or a negative development? Technology. Nowadays the way people interact with each other has changed because of technology. In what ways technology affected the type of relationships people make? So let's talk about relationships. Okay. So if I have to talk about relationships because of technology where people are able to relate through WhatsApp, through Facebook, through Twitter. So social media is there. Plus they are able to interact with each other in an easy way we wish each other on birthdays and all which means we are able to more people are now connected but then there are some downsides to it also people use sometimes become too much dependent on technology but overall I think technology is a boon it does help people to remain connected with each other so I'll say that it is a positive development. If I want to defend it as a positive development, I have to give three points in favor of technology that how technology has, has helped us to have better relations. So I can say that people are meeting each other on more occasions. So more occasions, it has made us more social. You know, we are able to talk to our friends and family members on more occasions and more number of people. So 
One is that on more occasions we are able to connect with each other and greater quantity we can create groups. So earlier we used to communicate with one person at a time, now we are able to communicate with many people at the same time. Plus, uh, um, what else uh, if I have to tell about the positive effects of this? Well, these are the two things. If I push my thoughts a little further, I can say that uh, we are able to share pictures. I mean, ways of communication have also changed. It's not just about voice. It's not related to voice. It's also related to pictures and videos. So the kind of things which are shared have also been strengthened. So we are able to get a lively picture of each other, which has actually helped us to relate with each other a little more. Yeah, so I can use this also as an agenda. Okay, so I've got three points and these are enough. If I write maybe 50 words on each of them, I'll end up writing around 150 words in the body and I can write like 50, 50 words there in introduction and conclusion. And I can have this or I can expand these ideas also. I can give more examples. So probably I can make 70, 70, 70 here, which makes it 210. And then another 40, 50 words coming from introduction and other things. So this becomes roughly a fair content for promoting technology. Oh yeah, it has become faster also. So I can give this again one big advantage. So in case needed, I can combine it or I can put it in a separate paragraph. So I'm now kind of ready to write an essay. Let's say we have consumed five minutes in planning. So we have got another 35 minutes to write the essay. And I'll say, I'll read the test question once again. Nowadays, people, the way people interact with each other has changed because of technology. Yeah, it has changed a great deal. In what ways technology affected the type of relation? So it is a positive development. And I have to speak about these three things. So I'll write more occasions, more number of people, and more ways in a faster way and all this. Okay, so the advent of internet and related apps have brought about a sea change in the way people communicate and relate with each other. Uh, according to me or in my perspective, this is a great development. This is uh, this is a positive development. Positive development. This essay will discuss the advantages of technology make to strengthen the, our, our bonds. So advantages of te the technology or applications of technology discuss how technology how technology has helped to strengthen our bonds. So this becomes a simple introduction. Now <clears throat> I can talk about advantages one by one. The biggest advantage or benefit, now I've used the word advantage so I can say benefit, is that we are able to communicate with a large number of people 
in a short span of time the advent of applications such as Facebook and WhatsApp have made it possible to create groups where we can include friends and family members living at distant places in one shot we can send a message to all of them this is a great boon thanks to the application of or thanks to the development developments in in information technology and telecommunication okay so this is the first advantage we are able to talk to many people at the same time what was the second point the second point was more occasions not just uh, yeah the second advantage is or i can relate it with relationships okay let me just put it like this the, the biggest benefit the second benefit is that we are able to yeah more occasions we are able to talk to uh, uh, is that technology has eased has made it easier has made it easier to communicate with our friends and family members there is no need to buy a an inland letter and write it with a pen i i would not rather like it I, i can write it like this so in a flash of so as a for a matter i can say easier so how is it easier it is okay since it has become easier people are so people communicate with each other more frequently now this is evident in the way people wish each other on occasions such as birthdays marriage and any anniversaries etc does in other words technology has enabled people to communicate have i used the word frequently yeah communicate uh Uh, communicate uh, easily and and 
chief thief. I can say chief thief, although chief has a number of other connotations, but I am not finding any good word, so I can look at it while I am revising it. Chiefly, thus, it is, it has contributed to uh, build stronger relations. I have one more uh, point which was, yeah, I talked about pastors. Uh, yeah, last but not the least, technology has enabled to communicate not just through voice or text but also through videos and pictures. For example, I can give an example here. For example, I talk to my parents living at my native place through a video all which is for which I do not need to pay any extra charges. Even children They feel good to see video, live videos of my children enjoying their pastime or pastime. No, uh, so it is true that technology has widened the number of options to communicate with communicate and thus it has helped to nurture strong bonds with near and dear ones. Near and dear, I like to say this, this is one word. These are not two, three things, near and dear ones. So these are, I think this is enough. It would be like 25 into 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I've already done it. To conclude, given that technology has blurred the boundaries of time and space, it, uh, it, has, it is definitely a boon for people who care to uh, boon for people to people for people to to have happy relations, strong relations, strong bonds. I'll use the same words as in the question. In ways has technology affected the type of relations with people? Has it been a positive or negative development? In what way has technology affected the types of relationships people make? So I've talked about types of relationships. And uh, is it a positive or a negative development? So it is definitely a positive development. Given that technology has blurred the boundaries of time and space, uh, 
Uh, I would I would rather write it directly so that it sounds like answering the question. To conclude, given that technology has enabled us to relate with wider, to, with larger number of people. By connect and large number of people, number of friends, and at more occasions, it is definitely uh, uh, Given, to, given the technology has enabled us to relate with larger number of friends and at more occasions, I tend to believe that I advocate that, yeah, I support that, I advocate that, I find that, that It is a boon for us to nurture our bonds, nurture our relations. It's equal because given that technology enables to relate with large number of friends and at more occasions, I will point that it is a and at more occasions, number of people, and at more occasions, I will find that it is a boon for us to nurture our relations. Okay. So let me just read it quickly. The advent of internet and related apps have brought about a sea change in the way people communicate and relate with each other. In my perspective, this is a positive development to discuss how technology has helped to strengthen our bonds. The biggest benefit is that we are able to communicate with large number of people in a short span of time. The advent of applications such as all these have made it possible to create groups where we can include friends and family members living at distant places. In one shot, we can send a message to all of them. This is a great boon thanks to development in information technology and communication. The second benefit is that technology has made it easier to communicate with our friends and family members. So people communicate with each other. Uh, communicate with each other on more uh, more frequently to each other. More frequently now. This is Evident in the way people wish each other on occasions such as birthdays, marriage, and mercy, etc. In other words, technology has. I'll just write about the kind of relationships because that thing is missing. In what ways has technology affected the type of relations? Uh, further, our friendships are not just related to people uh, in our vicinity, vicinity, technology has helped us to befriend or make friends global, you have global friends to have Global friends. Technology has has helped us uh, to have to have friends. Have friends. Have friends. Have friends from all across the world. All across. So this is like I'm just trying to relate that the kind of relations is not just limited to a small place. But technology enabled people 
partner of people becoming great easily and cheaply. The health has contributed to strong relations. Okay. Last but not least, technology has enabled to communicate not just through voice or text but also through videos and pictures. For example, I talk to my parents doing all this and for this I am able to relate like this. Could be seen live videos of my children enjoying their pastime. It is true that technology has been widened the number of options to communicate and thus it has helped to nurture strong bonds with their and dear ones. Okay, I'm not absolutely happy after writing this essay because now I'm thinking probably I could have written one paragraph in what way it has helped the types of relationships and has it become a positive or negative. That would have been more cohesive as far as this question is concerned. But now since I have written it, I would rather finish it here. If I get a second chance to write this, I would rather analyze it a little further and I would write one paragraph on this question. In what ways has technology affected the types of relationships people make? So that would be my first paragraph which says types of relationships and I would analyze that part and then has it become a positive or negative development? I'll write it later. So that would become a little more easier for the reader to understand that I have really answered both of the questions. On this note, I'll close this because um, end of the day, this might happen with you there and you have to be careful about it that you write your essay, I mean you analyze the question and write one paragraph to address each of the subsections in the question. Otherwise, that's true.